Okay. Chavkim Olamid Aleph. You have the Mishnah? Everyone's on, on board with me? Chavkim Olamid Aleph. We have three things that Rabbi Gamliel was machmir, three things that Rabbi Gamliel was makel, and in that theme, we have three things about Rabbi Elizabeth and Azariah. Shleish Dwarim Rabbi Elizabeth and Azariah Mater, Chacham my service. Three things that the Rabbi Elizabeth and Azariah was matter that he permitted. <laughs> and three things that what that he said were asta. Uh, the Chacham and Parasai, his para, the para of Rabbi Elizabeth Azaya, Yotzeb Ritzua Shabin Kaineha, on Shabbos would go out with a ribbon between its horns, Linoit, as, as a tachshit for the animal, but the Chacham held it was a masli, and the Yimitzuba, not the, your animal, shouldn't work on Shabbos. So he held that the, the ribbon between the head was a masli, was a load, and it was not a, it was not a tachshit. Number two, you can go ahead and comb the behemoth on Yontif with a metal fine tooth comb, even though it's going to make a chabura in the animal, it's sharp. In addition, you'll be able to go ahead and cut peppers in a pepper mill. That's the opinion of Rebbe Loza ben Azariah. Three halachas. One, for the, horn, the Shabbos with the regarding the regarding the carrying of a ribbon, two, a Shabbos Dikadin regarding on, you can't do it on Shabbos to go ahead and, and grind, but you could do it on Yantif. And three, uh, co- excuse me, that was grinding, that was, that was number three. And number two was combing the, the hair, I guess, to get rid of bugs on your on Shabbos and Yantif. And Ruda says, you're not able to use a fine tooth comb as a behemoth on Yantif, because it makes a chabura. And this is Rabbi Yehuda Lishitasa who holds Dava Sheim Miskaven, something that you're not Mechaven for is Asa. If you go ahead and drag a bench and it makes furrows in the ground on Shabbos, it makes furrows, it can, can be considered what? It's to be considered a what? A Asa, because you're making, you're, you're, you're plowing, despite the fact you want to just move it from place to place. Aval says Rabbi Yehuda, you could use a a thick wooden comb that is not going to go ahead and make a chabura a hole in the animal. So you have three sheetas. Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Elizabeth and Isaiah permits a fine tomb called shakane, a, a, a coarse, coarse, a coarse one of wood. Chachamim, no fine tune, yes, coarse wood. And Chachamim, neither, not only a fine tooth, but even a thick wooden cone would not be permitted according to Chachamim, the Gemara will explain the three Amachlekes. The name, when you mean to say that Rebbe Liesel ben Uzziah let his cow, one cow, go out with his, with the uh, noy between its horns, that ribbon between its horns, it's mashman that Rebbe Liesel ben Uzziah had one cow. As we know, Rebbe Liesel ben Uzziah was exceedingly wealthy. Rebbe Liesel ben Uzziah chod a parah, he only had one parah. Ayva Amarav, v'imila Amarav, Yehuda Amarav, Kilsa Alfi Igle Havi Maisa Rebbe Elazar Ben Azayi Meadrecho called Shashu Satsa. Thirteen thousand Agolim was the Maisa of Rebbe Elazar Ben Azayi from his Ada from year to year. If that was his Maisa, can you imagine how many cattle he had in the first place? So how can you say he had one para? And for Gemara Tana Leishalei Haisa Taka wasn't his para. Elishal Shchinasei Haisa. It was the lone para of his neighbor. When we Toshlei Micha Ba, and since he did not go ahead and tell her it's wrong. Nicholas al Shmo, it's called the cow of Rabbi Elazar ben Azaya, because he permitted to carry the what the ribbon between the horns, because he held it was noi, he held it was a tachshit rather than a masoi. Um, again, we have three sheetis. According to Rabbi Elazar ben Azaya, you can even use a fine tooth comb. According to the Rabbi Huda, you can only use a, a, a coarse wooden comb. And according to the Chacham, you could ne- use neither. Tanrabanan. Ezek korud ve'ezek karzif korud is getanim. It's a, it's it's right. It's thin thin to, thin tooth. Ve'ezek habura and it makes a habura. In fact, it's made from metal. Karzif is gedolim. It's thicker. Ve'ezek habura does not make a habura. The gimu machloik is over, and there are three machloik is in the matter. Rabbi Huda Savar Davishem Skaven Asa. Davishem Skaven is Asa. 
Vic, a hole in the animal, a in the animal, despite the fact that it wasn't a scavenger for it, it's also. Therefore, you can only use what? A thick wooden comb. Mihu korid kotanim, mihu korid kanves chabura, katsukudalim enes chabura. So, therefore, there's nothing to be concerned about by a thick uh, wooden comb. Like, Gazunum cats about the korid, and we don't make a gazera, if we let you use a thick uh, a wooden comb, that you'll come to use a fine tooth metal comb. Rabban and Savi Nami Kreb Yehuda, Rabban also like Rabbi Yehuda, that Dovashe Miskaven is also, because read in cards of what the current, and the reason you can't use neither, and not the fine tooth or the, even the thick tooth, is because if you use the thick tooth, you may come to use the fine tooth. Rabbi Lezben is I yourself a Kreb Shimon. He also like Rabbi Shimon that if you're taking a bench and moving it from one place to the other place and it's making a chritz in the ground, a ditch, Dovashe Miskaven is Mutter. So who are then by a fine tooth comb of metal, despite the fact that you're going ahead? And making a chabur in the animal when you're combing the hair, it is permitted because it's davashem miskaven like Reb Shimon. Dama davashem miskaven is muta. Who ben korid, whether it's fine tooth, who ben korts of whether it's stick tooth, shari is permitted. Amar Rav, Amar Rav Nachman, Amar Shmuel, Dimi La Amar Rav Nachman Luchudei. Halach Reb Shimon, the halach is like Reb Shimon that you can use a fine tooth comb. Shari Reb Lezer Ben Azai, you might like because Reb Lezer Ben Azai is mighted to him. So Amar Le Rav Lev Nachman, Vlei Memar Halach Reb Yehuda, Shari Chachamim Mighted Loi. Why did you opt for the Das Yochid of Lezim and Azariah who permitted it? Why didn't you go to the Das of the majority of the Chachamim who did not permit it and say that you cannot use what? A, a thick tooth. We don't look Reb Shimon, we don't look Reb Yehuda. In addition, in other words, Allah is like Reb Shimon. Machlech is Reb Shimon, Reb Yehuda, Allah is like Reb Shimon, Dabr Shimon is Gavin's Mutta. And to buttress that, despite the fact that Chacham say it's Asa, we have Rebbe Lezim and Asaya agreeing to him. As I state in the Mishnah. Not a Pesach right? right? Well, not a Pesach You have, you have three levels to a, a pepper mill. One is the grinder at the top. It's made partially of wood and the bottom is of metal. You have the middle sieve that's really a wood, and then you have the bottom base kibble that's totally wood. So you have three sheet, three components of, of a of a kli. One, a kli kibel, a kli with a receptacle area that's the kabel tuma. Two, a kavra, a sieve, which the chachamim were goyza, atu orig, a beged, which is woven. And three, you have a kli, a viable kli of eights that even though it's flat, it's not the kabel tuma, we're going after the attached metal part. And a flat metal part is makabel tuma. So, herechaim shel pelim, a mill of peppercorn, tamea mishum shloi shekelim. It's tummy because of three kelim. One mishum kli kibel the bottom kli which is a receptacle area. Two mishum kli mateches that's the top kli which is despite the fact that it's a piece of wood attached to it, it's a pshute kli metal with 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 like serrated edges to go ahead and grind. And umishum klikavra, and the middle that stops the sieve that lets lets the, uh, the garbage stay out and lets the peppercorns go through. That's made of 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 eights, but it's goyzed rabbanon because of its lattice shape. The lattice shape is like oirig. cable, as I just we spoke out. The bottom septal area is also as klikibel. And soyim mishum kli kavra. The middle one is like the seiri the rabbanon of a sieve. And the yoyin mishum kli mateches, despite the fact that it has a piece of wood attached to it, and it's shoot a kliates, which is not makabel tuma. The metal part is makabel tuma. What's the nafkamina between all of this? Let's see the top Rashi. Tamei mishum sholish kelim. The kabelis tuma al shem sholish kelim nafkamina. The nami ozel chad shma mine. Let's say one of them is missing. To me, Mishim Idach, the Gemara of Farishla. In other words, let's say you don't have the base Kibble, it would still be the Kabbalah's Kavra. Let's say you don't have the Kavra, it will still be the Kabbalah's base Kibble. Let's say you're missing both, it will still be the Kabbalah's Klima Teche. So, therefore, this, this tripled edged sword guarantees that pretty much this will always be Tane. Eglish shall cotton. You have a kid's wagon. Now, we know, guys, that a Zov that sits down on something that's made to be sat upon is an Avatuma. It doesn't become a lower level. It's called Timus Midras, Timus of Pressing. But it has to be something that normally you would say, you won't tell the person, take it, go, go and do work. Go, go ahead and work. 
we won't go ahead and say so it has to buy a footstool and my gala which you sit in now a gala shall cut into me a midris if the if the teen like is a is a is a zov the mean time to miss when it tells us it's not mukta because there's a shame kli it's not mukta because there's a shame kli the ain't in the grares ella al gabi kalim and you can't go ahead and pull it only on top of of kalim on a mat so it doesn't go ahead and make a chritz in the ground and this is right. This is the chayyur Rabbi Yehuda's din. Adav Hashem is kavim biyasa. Rabbi Yehuda, I'm a kolak kelim ein negrarin. All kelim can you cannot go ahead and and pull. Chutz min agolo. The golo you could pull. They she kaveshes because it doesn't go ahead and displace dirt. It just presses the dirt down. Guys, view a coulter on a, on a take a take a, a fork. Put a fork in the ground and pull it along. It's going to displace the earth from side to side. Take a wheel. It's turning. It doesn't displace it. It just pushes it down. So it makes a chritz, but it's not al yidei removing dirt. So he seems to say that Yehuda he seems to say that if it's a wig and you don't you don't have a problem of what of of davashem eskavim because it seems to be that it's not going ahead and in chayrish it's pressing it down. Egel shall cut into me and midrash does samech alave. It's tummy to mis midrash because you're leaning on it. Then he tells us b'shabes mishum the ikatar is clear lecha. It can be carried on Shabbos because there's a Torah's clue on it. But in an agreres, and however, it can't be pulled, right? It can't, it, it can't be pulled. But in an agreres, ella al gabi kalim. It can only be pulled al gabi kalim. Al gabi kalim in, al gabi karkaloi. On gabi kalim, but not on gabi karka. Okay, I have to take this call for one second. Let me... Okay, so, so, uh, so it's not Negreris. El al gabi kel. Wait one second. One time. Egel shel cotton. Tamea midris the hasama chalave. Then he tells us b'shavus b'shum the ikatar is clear Allah. The ena Negreris el al gabi kelim. This is going to make a chutz in the ground. Al gabi kelim in al gabi karka loy. Only on top of the sheet or something, but not on top of the karka. My timer the kavit chutz. Money. Who's the tana? Rabbi Yehuda. He's domin davar shemis kavin zasa. He Rabbi Shimon or Amad davar shemis kavin is muta. The Tanya, Rav Shimon, I mean, Goyra Oda meet the Kisa Vesasel. Rav Shimon says a person can be Goyra Oda Kisa Vesasel, but Vashle is Skaven. Friday is not is not Miskaven. They always say Arye that you can always carry it. Since you can carry it, it's not a Pesikresha. If it's very very heavy, I think Rav Shimon would be Moida. It's where it's since it's carryable, you don't have to go ahead and schlep it. That's the reason why it's it's a Davashem Miskaven and not a Pesikresha. Rav Yudo, I mean, Eina Kol Gud Nigrayim B'Shabes Kutz Min Agola. You seem to have a steer in the Mishnah. One hand, you say that you have to put it on top of Kalim because it, it's going to make a fritz. The other hand, you say you don't have a problem. Why? Because you go, you go ahead and press it in the ground. It's two Tanoim in front of Yehuda. One Tana says it makes it's a problem, that it's a problem of a fritz. The other one says it's not a problem because it's only presses in the ground. And that, my, my,